Hi there. Welcome to your North Shore Pediatrics Rotation. We are excited to meet you and work with you over the next few weeks. My name is Steve Bakta. I'm one of the pediatric hospitalists here at North Shore, and this short video will help to orient you to your upcoming rotation. Our pediatric medical team is composed of one attending pediatric hospitalist, two University of Chicago senior pediatric residents, one University of Chicago family medicine intern, and one or two University of Chicago medical students. Let me take a moment to introduce you to North Shore and some of the differences you may notice compared to the other sites at which you train. The North Shore University Health System is comprised of four hospitals located in the Evanston, Highland Park, Skokie, and Glenbrook areas. In 2020, we added Swedish Covenant Hospital to the North Shore family as well. The Evanston location is where the majority of the inpatient pediatrics care is provided. Patients are admitted to the floor either directly from the local pediatrics offices or from the other North Shore Hospital emergency departments. Our average census ranges from four to five in the summer to an average of seven to eight in the winter. We do not have a pediatric intensive care unit at Evanston Hospital. So if any of our patients require intensive care, they are typically transferred to Advocate Lutheran General Hospital in Park Ridge or Lurie Children's Hospital in Chicago based upon family preference. Here is a list of pediatric subspecialties that can provide an inpatient consultation on our floor. With their help, we are able to care for a wide range of pediatric diseases and keep our families close to home. Many of our primary care pediatricians have admitting privileges to our inpatient unit. In cases where the primary care physician is the admitting physician, a member of their team will typically see the patient in the morning and briefly round with our team prior to going into clinic for the day. Even if the primary care physician does not admit to our floor, we always contact the on-call primary care doctors for all the patients to discuss the plan at admission and discharge to ensure smooth transitions of care. Additionally, after discharge, we make post-discharge phone calls to our families within two days of discharge to ensure that their child is recovering well, was able to obtain and administer any medications, and to ensure outpatient follow-up has been addressed. Medical students can help the team by making these phone calls to PCPs and patient families. Please proceed to the next video entitled Overview to continue your orientation.